All right, back here at home, we are heading into Halloween weekend, which means flu and cold season. Mm. They're about to ramp up as all the kids are out and about together. Um, and it seems like there is more going around this year with the whole tri uh, tridemic that we're calling it. So we have NBC News medical contributor, Dr. John Torres, and we're calling this your Asked and Answered segment. So you are here to answer all of our most pressing questions. <laughs> That's what I do. As you usually are, <laughs> yes. Um, so this first one actually comes from Instagram, and it talks about um, the severe cases of RSV and what are the symptoms of you know severe cases and how to how do we prevent it and so RSV you have to think about it as a respiratory illness we have RSV COVID and flu right now and they're all respiratory illnesses and they all share a lot of symptoms at least initially and so the symptoms usually get uh, you start getting you know feeling under the weather low-grade fevers cough runny nose congestion those kinds of things a lot of sneezing but then rsv can morph into these more serious illnesses we talk about and serious symptoms and you can get bronchiolitis that's the children's small airway mm -hmm. in the lungs that we worry about and that's what ends up putting them in the icu with that you end up looking at high fevers that won't go away with medicine you end up looking at breathing issues particularly wheezing and then they can also get this what we call retractions where their ribs you can start seeing those when they're breathing real hard or their stomach caves in a little bit that is a warm Warning sign. The other subtle one is nasal flaring, meaning their nose, for, especially for younger children, mm -hmm. starts opening up a little bit, looks like they're having trouble breathing. That's when you need to talk to a doctor. Okay. Uh, I got another one for you, Dr. John. This one is from Natalie in New York. Let's have a listen to this. How does the bivalent COVID booster work, and should I get it the same time as my flu shot? So that's the, that's the new COVID booster. That right? is the new COVID booster. And to answer the second part of the question, yes, you should get it at the same time as the flu shot because this is the season both for flu and to protect yourself from the COVID we think is coming on in the winter, especially if you haven't gotten your last shot over the last couple of months because mm -hmm. we know it does wear off. As far as what's in the bivalent, what they did this time is they're trying to get that Omicron variant in there in the vaccine. And so they have two different things, bivalent, meaning two. One is the original virus, what we call the wild virus that started the beginning of the pandemic. And then now this Omicron booster, this Omicron variant, the BA4 and 5, they mm -hmm. put in there. Their concern is how is it going to work against the newer variants that are coming out, the mm -hmm. sub-variants. We think it's going to work pretty well, but time will tell. And, and Dr. John, still back to that same point. Does it matter which boost, if you've got, say, the Moderna first, and maybe you can only get the Pfizer now? Does it, matter? It, it doesn't matter. There is some indication that if you mix and match, it might be a little bit better. But there's really, it's, if it's a little bit, it's just a little bit. Okay. So getting either one would work. Next up, we've got uh, Nikki. She's got a question about home remedies. Do zinc, ginger, and honey actually work? What really helps when you have a cold or the flu? That's a good. I mean, these, these, are, these are great questions. All the aunties yeah. are like, come on, I've been, Dr. Taking a, I've been taking the coldies every day just yeah. to protect. And, and, and these work really well for the most part. You know, the, the, for certain people, they work better. Let's start with zinc. Zinc, okay. actually, a study was done a few years ago, and it found if you take zinc within 24 hours of starting your cold symptoms, it could cut off the cold symptoms by 24 hours, by a day, wow. and it could okay. lessen some of the symptoms. You want to take it lozenger or SERP form. I've because, taken it for sore throat. Right. We think it coats the throat, and that really helps Liquid out with that. Zinc? Liquid zinc, but yeah, the problem, but the problem is, is some people it gives them upset yeah. stomach, and uh, so you have to look at it that way. Now, as far as the the honey. Honey, actually, they did a study, a head-to-head -head study against cough medicines and honey, and honey either did as well or beat out some of those cough wow. medicines. Wow. And so they, it did a really good job of doing that. And then the third one was ginger. Yeah, ginger. Ginger. Ginger, ginger. ginger actually think? worked great. Antioxidant, yeah. it, it, anti-mucus, it really helps with congestion, especially if you mix it in a tea where it's like a hot ginger kind of thing. Mm -hmm. That can help as well. Oh, hot now, yeah. yeah, and now the thing is with cold <laughs> medicines, just real quick, four and above. The American Academy of Pediatrics right. says don't give them to children under age of four and honey Same don't deal. give it to children under the age of 12 hard. months under one under four i mean yeah. that's when it, you just want to help them you <laughs> no, feel so no. helpless well, but, but just Thank think you. about it you've never seen winnie the pooh sneeze so <laughs> <laughs> i'm gonna use that out i like that <laughs> Dr. John, John. thanks so much <laughs> hey thanks for watching don't miss the today show every weekday at 11 a.m eastern 8 pacific on our streaming channel today all day to watch head to today.com slash all day or Click the link right here.